Hi, how are we doing? Okay. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Busy day. Are we looking after you? Yes, thank you. Good. Have you been sore? A little sore, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's healed fine. Let's just get those staples out. Doctor, uh, my husband, um, he's a good man, and he... I think he's a little nervous. Will this scar always be so? Tell your husband you look like a Playboy centerfold. You have the staple marks to prove it. <laughs> Tell the doctor he's a big jerk. Welcome back to Dawn. That was what not to do with a patient, bad doctoring. We're talking about patient empathy here. Maybe you've had a bad experience or hopefully a good experience with doctors, but Dr. Mohamed Reza Hojat, who's the professor in Department of Psychiatry and Human Behavior at Thomas Jefferson University. It's so good to have you. And he is the author of the book, Empathy in Patient Care, Antecedents, Development, and Outcomes. And Jesse Edwards, fourth year medical student at Thomas Jefferson University. Welcome to the Dawn Show. So good to have you here. Good to be here. You know, it's so interesting because today, just in our building, when uh, Dr. Hojat, when you walked in, and I had so many women especially say, oh, when my mother was ill, and in her mm -hmm. Sarah, who was sitting where you were just a minute right. ago, said, you know, everybody has that story. And unfortunately, it's a story when their parent or loved one is very ill and perhaps dying, and they're not remembering the cherished moments of being with that loved one. They're remembering the bad doctor behavior. And I guess that's why we need you, Dr. Hojad. Thank you very much, Don, for having me on your program. Of course, not all doctors are like the doctor that you saw in this clip. There are many good doc doctors with uh, uh, empathic skills that help people. But this particular one was a negative example that we showed to our students and uh, uh, asked them to evaluate, to assess these mm -hmm. encounters and uh, let us know if this is a kind of positive encounter or negative encounter. Uh, it is true that sense of humor is uh, um, can enhance empathic engagement in patient care. But this particular clip, we chose it from the film, uh, from the movie The Doctor, shows a kind of negative sense of humor, a kind mm -hmm. of insulting sense of humor that uh, cannot really help in order to uh, establish or enhance this empathic engagement. So yeah. that that's, is was one of the negative samples. Yeah, and I think that, you know, it depends if the doctor, if you have a relationship, I kid around with, with my OBGYN all the time, but we go back 20 years. And so if you know that doctor and you have that joking kind of relationship, <coughs> that's one thing. But in the clip you, sh you use it as, as an example for students, obviously the doctor comes in, he's looking down, I had a busy day, I don't know you, blah, 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 blah. blah. So they're strangers, and so he's trying to be funny and he's not. That's mm -hmm. right. So do you think it's effective for doctors, Jesse, to... to to learn this kind of empathy? Mm. I mean, can you learn that? Or is that something yeah. that starts when you're a kid, starts at home? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think absolutely it can be learned. And I, I think we have to definitely hope that it can be learned because not everyone is born with the same level of empathy or has the same experiences growing up. Um, but I think this study that we had also really clearly demonstrated that there can be an element of empathy that's, that's learned and that really, I think, enhances the doctor-patient relationship. And that's just it. I, I love that you, what, what your studies and what your research shows is that, in fact, if you have the empathy, it makes you a better doctor because you're listening mm -hmm. and you're feeling and, and all of that. So it's not just about, hey, my doctor's a nice person. It's that they're a better doctor because they're empathetic. And I think that's an important point that you make. That's correct. In fact, our studies showed that there is a significant link between physician empathy and positive patient outcomes. We have done it in a couple of studies, and those physicians who score high on this well-known Jefferson scale of physician empathy, meaning they are more empathic or they have uh, more orientation toward empathic engagement, they have patients who are better off. Therefore, physician empathy has a link to patient outcome. That's very interesting. And for you, though, this is a personal journey. In your, in your book, Dr. Hoja, you talk about uh, your wife and your daughter, uh, who at the time was young, and she was a, 
uh, had heart issues and was seeing a pediatric cardiologist. And so for you, this began, right, as a, as a personal journey because your wife and daughter came home and had a horrible experience. Yeah, that was one of those negative encounters. Of course, that is not a typical encounter in patient care. We have, as I told you before, lots of good physicians also, empathic physicians. But in that particular case, uh, uh, my daughter had a kind of heart palpitation, kind of fast heartbeat, and that was not a serious one, but we wanted to make sure to that uh, whether this is serious or not. And the encounter with this uh, cardiology, pediatric cardiologist was, as according to my wife, I was not there, my wife reported this to me, was very cold and it, uh, it, it, it seems that the, that the doctor was more concerned about who pays for this heart monitoring device that uh, was ordered uh, for her. And then uh, just, it was not, a kind, it, it, there was not an empathic click between patient, my daughter and my wife and the, and the, and the physician. Uh, and so that's uh, when you realize, you realize there's a need for this, mm -hmm. to get this, to, to, to make doctors aware that yeah. they need to be empathetic. But mm -hmm. more importantly, that was not a serious condition. That was related, my, my daughter liked to drink coffee a lot. <laughs> and so that did not really needed lots of, you know, the tests and all those things. The doctor even asked, did, did, even did not ask my wife if uh, my daughter was a heavy coffee drinker. And because my wife did not trust that doctor, we did not pursue the recommendation of the physician. The heart palpitation uh, stopped as soon as my daughter stopped drinking coffee. So see, there are some, you know, encounters like this that could maybe sometimes affect the entire patient's life mm -hmm. in, in uh, you know, dealing with the physician. In, you know, that all physicians are, not all physicians are cold and yeah. unempathic. Yeah, and, I, and mm -hmm. I don't think we're saying that. I mean, I've, I've never had a bad experience. I have to say, I've, I guess maybe I've been most of really lucky. Positive, so I think, yeah. <laughs> I think most of us have good experiences, but you remember that bad experience. So that's why you know, it's great that you're talking to your mm -hmm. students and making them realize the importance of empathy. Uh, we'll have more, much more about empathy and with doctors and with Dr. Hojat when we come right back. <laughs>